go off to the underground bunker. Now do I have an interesting place for you guys today. So this, this whole area used to be a freaking, a, uh, used to be a military base or something because it's uh, all big block buildings, they're all kind of like it's RAF boys. Yeah, they look like yeah. military. 100%. Yeah. Oh yeah, they don't care for this building. No. <laughs> I don't think this has been maintained. It looks like some out of Jumanji. So what did you say this place is now? It's a benefits office? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Get the trance on. We're ready. Let's go. Off to the underground bunker. Go, go, go! Soldiers, go! As we cross the grassy bank, we head into the unknown, right next to Somerset Beds. Super misty out here. I have to clean my lens down when I get in there. Just be careful because there's a person up there in the window. I don't know if they're still there. It's a bit suspect how there's one car there, bro. No, they, they've got, it's not like, um, you know, th this thing, they've got their own car, you know, like one they have to use in the day, so somebody comes out, jumps in that and fucking drives off and doesn't yeah. work like that. Right, just quickly get that thing off. There was a place that had a light on it, looked like a security place, I haven't even got a fucking light on that. Right, we're walking back. You remember this from uh, earlier in the day? Wait, is there still power in here? No. Oh my god, look at this. Everything. Whoa. 
claims forms, credit card, credit card transactions file. What the hell? Old personnel files. This is insane. So we couldn't, are you sure we couldn't get that power working? It's probably been isolated. No, no, because you got to go to the main breaker box. Look. No, this isn't the main break, the main box. Are you sure? Because that turns it on, pushing it off. That's just fans. That's just for fans. This is um, for charging the batteries, I believe, and the batteries are for if the power goes off, you've got a bit of light and then you okay. And this is where the batteries used to sit, look, stacked there, lead acids. They, they knocked them off, and uh, you've got crystallization now and all that shit that somebody's stolen all the lead. This is old school, guys. The old generators. Wow, look at it. This is the standby switch. This is the fucker. It's wearing. These are the Wow. Uh, one of the bricks, one of the uh, fuses has been taken out. Fuses has been taken out. Mm -hmm. You put them back in, we got power. Probably. Because this is a fairly intact bunker. It is. Okay, so this is an actual war bunker. You Whoa. saw. You saw the video where it was in that mock bunker, where it was like a, tr a trainee bunker where the testings, this is a real bunker. This was used to plan war. We're going to go to the war room soon, but this is pure history right here. This is like stepping back into the 1940s. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to try and drop as much history, and if I can't find the history, Matt's going to tell you. You know, Matt's got this. The plant room. And a massive door. Toilets. Oh, that's another exit. That's another exit there. The stairs are right here the There's a bit more stuff to see up here. Oh wow, there's lots. There's a whole walkway down there. Yeah, there's a walkway down there. Alright, untouched bunker from the 40s. And now we have a comfortable room. Public relations. Oh wow. Wow. No way. This is this feels like yeah, like you said, stepping back into the nineteen forties. Look at the huge map. County of Avon. You got Bristol. Probably got Wiltshire somewhere. Yeah, Wiltshire over here, Bath, Gloucestershire. I live further north. I live up here somewhere in Lancashire. This is all the southeast, southwest, sorry. Oh, wow, look at these inside here, a little room. Tannoy, oh that's the original maker of Tannoy systems. Tannoy sound system. Wow. This is a gem. I wonder what the pins are for. Yeah, oh, pins. wait a minute. Are they pins to other bunkers. Yeah. They, they possibly could be. 
There possibly could be other pins to, to bunkers. You got one there. There's a few of the different colours as well, I don't know what they mean. I, Ma Matthew might know. Wait, did I get him? Uh, so, right, so Matthew's up there. Matthew, talk. <laughs> so you would press it to ring the bell. Before the days of intercom boys, this is Morse code days. No, <laughs> that's insane. Look, he's up there. Who was that? Somebody just called. Somebody just called. Are you? Did you hear? Are you? Oh, oh, oh. No. Matthew Williams, security or somebody was here. This isn't a ghost talk. I'm not talking about ghosts. There was a man who just spoke. It wasn't you guys. I didn't hear it. I heard it. I heard it. It's only a man yelling from the top of the bunker. I didn't hear it. I heard some of them. I didn't make it out what it was, but I heard some of So yeah, these <laughs> these things here, just this tubing, was used to relay messages upstairs, or they can hear us, and then they, they can speak down if they wanted to say anything. Maybe more important people were that up there in that area. Oh, that's amazing. That's some good history right there. But look at that. Look at the little switch to press. That's like really, really 1940s. And here, you've got things that you would pass through. Uh, you'd pass them through into this room. Maybe other countries dividing at all. If you are knowledgeable in this, leave a comment below. Uh, up there, I'm almost certain would be a dial which would give you a reading on impact if there was an impact above. I'm pretty sure. I remember them from the Royal Observatory Corp. Uh, bunkers, the ROC posts, which would monitor, uh, they would monitor any kind of uh, explosions or whatever and give you readings. Uh, I mean, it could have just been a clock, but that's what I've seen before. And I don't see a, another clock in here, and I'm pretty sure they would have needed a clock. Right, we're leaving this room now. Uh, truly is amazing, so happy I've seen this. But that's not all. This bunker is pretty big. Also, there's this. Oh, there's just public relations. Nothing in there. Oh, wow. There's another map. Okay, this is detailing. Oh, it's detailing the same area. But look, the pins are in. Oh, wow, okay. I'm pretty sure the pins are in the same places. 72D, 72C, 72B. They must be bunkers. I'm almost certain they've got to be bunkers. Let me put that like that, you might see better. I'm pretty sure they are bunkers. I have to ask Matthew. He might know more. It's just all oh, some electrics of some sort. What's this room for? Operating signals used for controlling traffic. Shall I send? Oh, okay. So it's uh, no, something to do with Morse code or something. No, no, not Morse code. That's interesting. Oh wow! Oh no, that is it's something to do with Morse code and, and communications over there. Switchboard. 
signals. Okay. Yeah, so this would have been everything to these all these here would have been full of people giving out signals to you know allies and other people uh, trying not to have them trace or receiving signals or intercepting signals from the enemy this looks more different it's breeze blocked clock room okay so here's the room from which That's the room from where we came from. Oh, time right. I want to look around first before I start seeking some kind of paranormal activity, but it seems to be fine. Tanks. What? That's what that noise was. What was it? He was checking to see if there was any propane inside the propane tanks upstairs and it made a loud <laughs> noise. I wonder what that was. Yeah. So this is one of the other rooms. John Player. I love them lamps. And it latches one way. This place. Oh. And then, when you want it to go again, you latch it again, and it goes down. And look who it's made by. The company that made this. Uh, it's written on it somewhere. Hang on, it's on the front of the thing. Lampson? Lampson, that made the vacuum tubes. Little cylinders, you put a message inside a cylinder, seal it up, Open a little hole in the wall with a vacuum, put the cylinder in it, it goes and it sucks and goes around the building. They've come a long way since making these pulleys. Exactly, but they started moving messages around floor to floor, now they move the whole run around the whole building yeah, before yeah. the internet. That's amazing. There you go. That's a good piece of his working history. Yep. Wow. It shows that the old stuff was built to last. It looks like it was built yesterday, look at it. Yeah. That's amazing. Home proof. <laughs> that would be for uh, that light switch there, perhaps. North entrance, south entrance. Okay, so that's an alarm system to tell you if anyone's entered. There's some classic posters there as well. Good old fashioned government posters. The kiss of life. We'll save a life. Keys for the whole building. Oh, wow. Wait a second. Are there keys to the front door just in case they walk in again? Wow. There you go. Inner entrance doors. Inner can entrance counties, doors. Clerks, typists, scientists, signals office, switchboard teleprinters, clerks, typists, duplicators, tank room, information, operations, city engineer, police, army, fire, security, public relations, admin, health, canteen, welfare services, transport, petroleum, PBA, whatever that is, uh, private, <laughs> private, so you're not allowed to know what that one is. Civil, civil defense officer, plant room, stores, gentlemen, ladies, tank room. Wow. Well, I've not seen the science room yet. Have you seen the telephone room yet? Or the, uh, yeah, the where they would have gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any yeah. Other things to notice as well. See the, the, that their tannoy. Yeah, tannoy is original tannoy. In every room, there's a tannoy, and somewhere in the bunker, if you find it, you'll see the. Um, the, the actual valve amp for the tank. Yeah, that was in the main room, I saw that. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to ask you, in the main room, on the wall, there's a, a piece of wood which is angled, and it's had something removed off it. Was uh, It's like on the uh, Royal Observatory Corp bunkers. Mm -hmm. They had a device which gave you a reading on like, impact. What Was it the same thing? I don't know if they had a bomb impact um, thing here, because that was all done by the Royal Observatory Corp. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they may have had one of those radio devices that did the tick and it was basically, if it, if it became a solid tone, it meant we were at war. So oh. it was a tick. And if it was a long pause, tick, that meant we're okay. If it was okay. tick, 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 it means we're stressed. And if it's eh, we're at war. 
Okay, so it's kind of like DEFCON. DEFCON, yeah, that's a similar system. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. This is <laughs> this is amazing. Bonkers, bunker. I love this place. It is absolutely immaculate. It is. Stepping back in time. I feel like I should be wearing like a cap and <coughs> speaking very proper. Government issue clock. Is your torch keep flashing? Yeah, it mine. Is. Mine, mine, it's mine. Is too. It tells you. It's yours. It yeah. Tells you how much time you've got? No, no. Hold on. Mine keeps flashing. Yeah, it means the batteries are going. Are you always flashing? Too? Yeah, we're all yeah. we're we're all using all our all our batteries are going. All three of our torches are going. Yeah. It's still green on them. Right? There's a there's a sequence to the flashing, and it tells you how long you got. Yeah, I worked I worked that out recently. I thought it was paranormal, but it wasn't. No. So have you seen the coffee making machine? Uh. Yeah. Look at this. Step back. Oh no, I've not been in here yet. Step, step Holy crap! Step into the past. Where did this room come look from? Look at this. Wow. This is your government. It's a coffee room. Government coffee machine for when the bomb goes off. This will be where you're drinking your last cups of coffee. Crazy, isn't it? Though? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> to Old fashioned. Toaster. Old fashioned. This, like is, this, is, this is how it was made. It was made yeah, to look marble. Like that. Yeah. yeah. See, like right there. Huh. Yeah. Does anyone remember any of this stuff? Millstone. Yeah. Pepper. Can you check this old bag out? Do you want to clean up? <laughs> Glitter with bleach. Glitter? Kills germs and removes stains. <laughs> Look at it, it's got like the old sprinkle top. Yeah. Oh, what? Lucasaid! Look at the old Lucasaid! No, wait, it's, it's the old medicine one, bro. Mm. So Lucas Ed originally was a medicine and the old bottles used to tell you how it was going to benefit you if you was unwell and like it says here Lucas Ed aids recovery. It used to tell you what, what benefits it could do in, yeah. a, in a medicinal purpose. Weird. That's insane. Yeah. I've never seen one of these before. Yeah, glucose is, uh, glucose is given to ill people. It's like a sugar, but it's... Uh... It's funny because it's funny because my grandma, she, when I was younger, when I was ill, she'd always give me Lucozade, and I never really understood why. Well, it's, I think it's, uh, it's glucose and caffeine. Yeah, it but gives now, you an uplift. Yeah, now you've got to be a bit careful because there's sweeteners in there which can interfere with people a little bit. Like I mean, it's, could I try that? There's still a tiny bit at the bottom. Would that be... No, it's like syrup. But it says in sickness, uh, when appetite is lost, Lucozade, with its high content context of glucose syrup, can help provide the energy necessary for recovery. Somebody wanted some rum earlier on. I just heard boots. There's so much echoing in this room. I don't know, it could have even been. There is a lot of echoing. There's what? There's what? I'm pretty sure it sounded like hardcore footsteps coming from out there. What did you say, Matt? There's a big boiler back here, if I'm looking for this. Um, uh, so for we, somebody wanted some rum earlier on. Have you got your lambs? Lambs, you know what? Let's go. All right, me and Danny are going to do some paranormal. Okay. You've got your boiler here, look. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that thing. It's got a pressure water level meter there. Look. Pressure meter. That's amazing. They don't make them like these two. No. You get some, sometimes you get stuff like this hidden away underneath in coffee shops. They've got some yeah. like this. Well, it's mostly the old ones, like the old Italian cafes and things. Well, you can tell this is an untouched bunker when it's got a copper boiler sat there in it. That's a big old heated water yeah. boiler. Is that copper as well or not? Probably. Yeah, it's copper. Yeah, it's just like a shell and it's copper underneath it. Yeah. Look at that. It's like a gem. Like the signal will tell you it's hot or yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. That warns you that that's probably running. So if you can't hear it and you see the light, they've got similar things in the ladies to warn you that you've left on the tampon um, incinerator. Where? Yeah, if you look here? In, yeah, if you look in no the ladies, way. Yeah, they've got tampon incinerators, you don't see those anymore. Well, I, I, I want to see this. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, wait, that's upstairs, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, we'll look up that when we go upstairs. I thought you'd left your... <laughs> I thought you'd left your jacket, your jacket on the side there. Oh dear, I could 
take that. You, you were in very something very similar, like a flannel, you know. <laughs> This has got a name on it. Yeah. Uh, what is that? What does it say? Um, Chloros. 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 I don't know what Chloros is. That'd be enough to bleach. Mm. Is what? This, this is a type of um, science container with yeah, a rubber is, stopper, yeah. isn't it? So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a science. I stopper. remember seeing those in school. They had some of the old brown ones. They use the brown stuff because it doesn't penetrate. Mm. UV doesn't penetrate that. Yeah, this probably had a straw coming out of it. I would have oh yeah, a like a tube or something. Yeah, but it's not squeezy, but you could still pour something out of the top. Yeah. Maybe. So that was the canteen we were just in then. Look, he's finding new rooms. Oh, whoa, I've not seen this room either. Look at, oh, look at the old chest. I like stuff like that. Right, so what have we got here? Everything. <laughs> a lot of these things seem to be the names of prisons. Really? Look, look the Verne is on Portland Bill. That's Portland, the Verne. Okay. Winchester is a prison. Winchester. I saw... Well, it's in alphabetical order. I wonder if they've got Wymont, which is near where I live. Yeah. Probably this part of the world though, but it does go as far as Swansea, I've seen Swansea. Oh, that's what I meant to ask you as well, another yeah. thing. Uh, the pins in the map, on in the uh, war room, mm -hmm. do you know what they mean? They would have been for exercises, um, and it could have been other bunkers. Because there's another map in another room, which has printed on it, stars and it says like 72a 72b 72c and i think they're in the same positions mm. so they could be other bunkers they could be bunkers or they could be places that people have control centers or things like that yeah because when they're doing exercises um they they had a load of maps downstairs that they could literally put squares and maps uh, squares on the map and there's there's like a kit of squares stars circles wavy lines it's, it's almost like a zen, zen thing you know one of those like te telepathic things yeah but you put them all out on the map and yeah i don't i don't know how to describe it we'll have to have a look at there's loads of maps downstairs have you seen the map room there's like downstairs out, yeah there's, there's a map room and you can pull out wait where are downstairs no we're upstairs what we're upstairs oh yeah oh yeah we are yeah. let's go back downstairs i've not seen that i think there's a map room somewhere yeah. we're going back downstairs have you seen the map room with the pull out maps uh, no, I haven't. No, neither have I. I think, to be honest, it's actually in the to believe it or not, it's in the toilets, the map room. Really? Yeah. They, they, they seem to have stashed them somewhere. Let's have a look down here. It's up there with ladies. Well, I've not been down there, have you? That, no, that's where we came from. Oh, is it? Ladies. And interesting to note in here are these manky, oh. manky old. Uh, oh, it looks like something you find out at butchers. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Mouldy. Right, so where's the tampon incinerator? Right, if it's not in this one, there is one in here somewhere. I'm sure I saw a tampon incinerator. Oh, look This is a warning for the heaters on in there. So do we... So do we literally just put them in there and they burn away or what? No, 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 this is, this is water. But this is a warning that the, the heat is being applied to that, so you oh. don't leave it on. Okay. Oh, look at the old shower. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's um, probably downstairs then. Uh, no, wait, the men's bed restaurant's on the other side of the room. Mm. It's not a lot, They're over there. Have you seen the tank rooms down here? Yeah, yeah. I've seen the big tank. These maps and they are here somewhere. They're not in these ones, these are empty rooms. Yeah. the war room. Was the maps in the toilet map? Yeah, I think they were in the toilet. Yeah, I've seen them. You saw them, didn't yeah, you? Let's have a look in the toilet then. I've been there, uh, gentlemen. They're in the gentlemen's upstairs, yeah. So this is the tightest room, yeah? And, uh, yeah, I saw this room. Separate little room for himself. Oh wow. 
Oh, the carpet is just oh. deteriorating. It's an old rug. Yeah, yeah, it's an old carpet of some sort. The rug has literally turned to mush. Look at the, ash, the old ashtrays. Yeah. Watch keepers. The information received from, time of the receipt of the information, what the details are, and then what action you're going to take. So this would be like watch keepers. This is probably the people with on the on the phones are receiving stuff. They put it through to the you know people and they read it and they decide what's to happen. Start sign and stamp it and then it's actioned, you know, so it comes in from the telephones, goes out through the telephones. Wow. And carbon paper, which if you wanted to decipher what was on that, you could probably work out some secret stuff because there's, there's a lot of writing on that. In fact, what does that say there? <coughs> Opposite way around. Uh, U-L-S-T-C-A-T-E. Uh, mm. On so controller, the controller. Can't the that that uh, county, county military, ooh, county military, uh, purse, purse, uh, I can't read it. This is the one I was on about, Matt, with these 72 oh, yeah. E 72. These correlate with the pins on the map in the drawing board war room. Could they be bunkers? Yeah, Dunk as well. There's an airfield at Dunk as well. Exeter, there's, there's a bunker there. Plymouth, there's definitely a bunker in the centre of Plymouth because I got chased and nearly just broke my neck. You know, <laughs> and it ripped my lens off my camera. So there's definitely a bunker in Plymouth. Uh, what's this one? Up in the moors, St. Bruard. St. Bruard, Barrow Tor, Tor, 72D, Barrow Tor, 71C, Bristol. So where are we being looking? Right there. We're there in Bristol. Is that the one? 71C. Could be. There's also X220 there and, and, and there's three lines around some of these. Three lines, three lines, three lines, three lines, three lines, three lines, three lines. These are, these are like delineations between sectors. Because what a lot of people don't realise is a little fact for you. You know, like we've all got, all got boroughs and like yeah, Wiltshire and, and Cheshire and all that, and everyone thinks, "Oh, that's nice, isn't it? How? Why did they make the borders there, and why did they do that?" War planning. A lot of people don't realise that the war planning actually decided which places are which, and they've wanted to move the borders sometimes because the war planners said, "No, we need to have a bit more of their thing in this," and of course, people just go like, "Well, why are they moving the borders?" The war planners are telling him to do it because okay. they want a bit of you know that in their section, you know. Right. So there's a lot more to do with the names of where you live to do with war secret war planning than you ever knew. Ah. And this is why we have Matthew Williams yeah. with us because you know he, he may get us into some tight situations sometimes, but he knows his stuff. He's so such a knowledgeable guy. I love listening to his history. I know you guys do too. Secret vault. If you haven't already, make sure you go and subscribe to Secret Vault. And not the, not the, uh, the other channel. I won't even mention it. There's, there's <laughs> one in Swindon, it's so it's Rodborn Cheney. It's like Rodborn Cheney, I wonder what's there. Okay. Okay, so, there's, what's it? Oh, it's another heater. Ah, here they are. Oh. This is all of Bristol in massive form. Oh, right, okay. And, and you see, like, they put special things on here. Hmm. So it might be, you know, you have lookout people and maybe police cordons and road, roads that must be kept open, certain colours, roads that are not too important are roads that must be kept open at all times and kept clear of other traffic so that police and military can drive down them. It's going to be things like that. You know? You know, you like children's... No, you have children's flags. And you've got tens of them. It's a correspondent with the police, so they set yeah. these... They put those on top of them. Oh, look, they've got these grimy shulkers. Looks like some out of... I don't know, um... What was that film? Uh, Hostel. Looks like some out of Hostel. Well, I mean, that was amazing. 
Um, we pretty much looked at everything in here. This was a rare glimpse into something so unique and so preserved. You'll never see this again. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Let me see, let me see how you enjoyed this. I, I always gauge off the videos how many likes we get. And the more likes we get, the more I do videos like this. So if this gets a ton of likes, I'm gonna go and find more places like this and film more. Same with the underground. The more likes we get, the more underground I do. And if you haven't already, consider joining the channel. You can join it for a small fee and you get loads of perks and everyone knows you're part of hashtag team fires. You get that badge next to your name. Everyone knows it. Everyone who comes to the channel sees you comment, they know you're a hardcore team fighter. Okay, let's check out the guys. You got the secret vault, exploring with Danny, proving demons. We've been at it all weekend, smashing banger after banger. You already know, the crew is tight. So uh, Andrew, uh, Matthew and uh, Danny, uh, as we've been on this trip in, in Bristol, uh, we've been watching the news and there's been a lot of uh, tension kicking off between Iran and America, the talk of World War III. Now, would you agree that if World War III kicks off, we are the prime people to be followed into the underground for survival? Yeah, I would say that we're your best bet for getting you into the underground, only if in return you bring food, water, and uh, we'll negotiate other costs in the future, I'd assume. Yeah, okay, I, okay, I can go with that. What do you reckon, Danny? Just subscribe to me, channel. <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah, so Danny just wants subscribers and we want to live, so... Uh, I've seen a red animal farm. It ain't gonna be pretty, folks. Oh, so you're saying that you're gonna turn into some kind of what? Down, down under when it's, uh, yeah, it's all gonna, gone it's, to shit? It's gonna get rough, you know? You're gonna need weapons and training, so... It's going to be dog eat dog, and it's like when that last biscuit is there, and you know, who's who's going to sort of fight each other to get it? Bro, you've been thinking about this. Yeah, you have. That's starting to scare me a little you, bit. You leave a comment below. Le one. Leave a comment below. Does Matthew scare you slightly? Does he? Does he scare you? I've seen too many movies. <laughs>